Greetings, welcome back to Pink Oddbird. Today, what I'm here to show you is how to do rounded corners on a journal. In this case, I'm just using cardstock. And what you wanna do before you glue your cardstock to your fabric like I've done here is make sure your notebook fits properly because once you glue the fabric down, there's no going back. So the first thing that I'm gonna do here is just cut my little edges here. As you can see, I'm gonna show you how to cut this. Just cut right around that corner, just like that. It's gonna leave like a, a weird shape in the center there. And then you wanna miter off the sides of the two slits that you cut in your fabric. The reason why you wanna do this is because that little middle piece is gonna be what what hangs on to the cardstock when we fold this up to, to make sure that it's nice and snug, just like that, around the rounded corner. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side. All right, so I'm just gonna take my glue now. We're gonna get ready to glue this all down. The, the first thing you wanna do is grab those two middle pieces and pull them up. That's, like I said, gonna keep it nice and snug against the rounded corner. And also, so that when we cut that bulk off the little mitered pieces here, it makes sure that you won't have any cardstock or chipboard, whatever you're using, showing through in between the fabric, okay? So you just wanna make sure this is all glued down really nicely. And since we cut out those little mitered little corners that we cut out, it's gonna reduce on the bulk that you're actually using. Now, like I said, I am using cardstock here, so, and the fabric that I'm using is really thin, as I'm sure you can see with the glue, it's super thin fabric, so it's not terribly important that you do this step here but if you're using a thicker fabric and you're going to be folding it over chipboard which is also thicker than this piece of cardstock that i have you definitely want to do this step because it will take some of that bulk out of the fabric So as you can see, it's starting to shape up here. The rest of it is downhill. It's all stuff that you know. I'm just gonna take these side flaps and tuck those over, make sure those are nice and snug in because we wanna make sure that we have that rounded corner really defined through the fabric. So I'm gonna repeat the same steps on the other side here. And you see how the flaps that I have, it has a little piece of um, fabric that's folded over fabric. You wanna glue in there too, otherwise that's gonna be puffy if you don't. So I stuck a, a few little stripes of glue in there to make sure that those stayed down as well. And this is what you're gonna have. So this isn't maybe the 100% right process, but this is the way that I do it and it always comes out looking good in my opinion. <laughs> So these are the steps that you do to get this look. Now, now I just wanna show you here, since the fabric was thin, you can do this without cutting those pieces out because it was a thin fabric, but I'm not gonna show you the whole process, but I just wanted to show you that you could potentially do it that way if you wanted to. So now at this point, we're in the phase where we just wanna get that fabric or cardstock or paper or whatever you want to use to cover up and seal this all in. So if you are doing this, I would suggest that you score this if it's thin enough, I guess, so that you get a nice fold when you fold this over. But as you can see, it's the finished product. And if you wanted to stitch those edges out, this is what that looks like. It's not a requirement. You can absolutely leave it without the stitches, but if you wanna have that extra layer just to seal them together, that is how you can do it with your sewing machine. So now we're all done. I'm just gonna size it out and voila. All right, gang, that's gonna wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned. Until next time, toodaloo.